Hey guys, here's the Lego Star Wars ATAP Walker. It's 9 plus, that's number 75234. 689 pieces released last year, 2019, along with the, it's, uh, I guess, colleague. It's, you know, the bad guy version of the uh, droid gunship, but that one retired. And this one, I believe, is still out, though it's still going for a ridiculous amount on eBay. Um, on the ring top box, it costs $60 in the US, so $69 is a good thing. Comes with five mini or three mini figures, and going to enjoy. Normal Chewbacca, slightly updated Kashyyyk, but you know, Kashyyyk in a gray, so we've already had these before. But they come with the Kashyyyk battle droids, or so called Kashyyyk. These are actually AAT drivers or pilot ones, which they correct that in a new Clone Wars set coming out. But they list in here, so let's go ahead and open this set and see what's inside. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the set open. We have five bags, one, two, three, four, five. Um, we have this instruction manual with the stickers in here. And interestingly, I've never seen that one. That's interesting. Okay. Also, this was a back ordered one, so this shipped from the States. I ordered it back in, I think, being, I ordered it before May the 4th. And I got it on June 20th, right before I moved here to Fort Leavenworth from Fort Riley. So, we, we now have this, and this, this is, this is exciting. I'm looking forward to this. I wanted one of these, that's just, in the past when these came out, I didn't have the money for it. Now I, well, I'm still, you know, broke and minimum wage job, but I can sort of afford my Legos now. So I was able to get this. So now, guys, I will, we'll build this and we'll open it. And we'll, I'll check it out with a review. Also, uh, sorry for the light. Um, I only have this light right now. I need to purchase another light. Um, the brighter stuff is where I can use the natural light, so I take my curtain off, otherwise it gets hot in the day. If you live in Kansas, you know what I mean. Uh, but that, it's night right now when I'm building it, so I don't have that natural light. So, yeah, but, um, I'll probably, it'll be the same video, but this review of it will probably be tomorrow, so you'll have the natural light. But I'm just letting you know, like, why it's dim now, guys. But anyway, let's build it. I'm excited to build it. Hope y'all are excited to see it. And yeah, let's so I have it here, the review of the ATAP. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this shortly. We're gonna look at the mini figures first. So here we'll have a, you see first here is the uh, Kashyyyk home ship I believe it's, or Kashyyyk Trooper, I believe they call it, even though it's like a elite 41st Corps or something, Trooper, I believe. And we have Clone Commander Gray, he is exclusive to this set. Um, before we say 2014 version, there's slightly different printing on here, which makes him, you know, exclusive. The printing both have angry clone face, so nothing really to see there. And yep, and then we have Chewbacca. Um, I'm gonna be honest, in these Kashyyyk sets, I wish that they would just throw in, like, a Wookiee Warrior vault versus Chewbacca or something, because I'm tired of getting Chewbacca way too many Chewbacca. <laughs> and then we have the Kashyyyk Battle Droids, they're called in this set. They're actually AAT drivers. So, this is the new one, but yeah. Honestly, I'm happy to get new variant battle droids because I haven't had those in a while. Now, let's take a look at this. Right, here's the DAP. Um, let me just say that before you get into it, this is supposed to fit three figures. And it fits three figures, so I'm super happy about that. So, first of all, I'm going to go up here and show you underneath here. Just to build in where the third light extends. So, there's this cool little latch here that you can unhatch. And you see how it slowly goes, but this mainly is here for stability. Like, like it said, looks because it does it in the universe, but it's in the universe for stability. I think it looks better with two legs, to my opinion. You have this little turret gun here that spins around and shoots. And mainly that's like, I guess for blasting swords and stuff that's right in the way versus this thing. It is not. But the most cool looking set we'll get here. They left this really bland, which was a bummer. Like, I don't understand why, but you can't hold it. But just uh, some of it does get loose. So, and then you have, you know, the bullet here. You know, right here, this locks to keep that in place. But you can move this down. And this can move, this can move all around. So, this thing, but it's not 360, so it has to be on this level to shoot. Um, it can move up and turn around. So, maybe if it's trying to, like, shoot aircraft. And then this thing, um, can only move, shoot forward like that and down, but this is like the giant turbo cannon, so I guess you know if they're trying to shoot like, you know, a corporate alliance tank or something. Yeah, so it would, it would shoot like that. But yeah, um, it has a flick fire missile, 
everything like that. But you, and you also have these doors where you can look to the inside, but there's an easier way to open that. We can just lift this up. We have a look inside and there's gray with Chewbacca. You can see that it has the little hollow things here. And it has an image of the droid gunship, which is like, it is trying to target, which is pretty cool. They fit in here very, actually nicely. I can go ahead and pop Gree out and you can just see where they slide in right there. And yeah, that's about like it. Um, it retails for $60, 600 pieces. You get your price for piece. I mean, it's, it's, it's a tank. I, I think it's good. I like it. Um, these meat mocks and that type of stuff. You need to know it's pretty, you know, decently minifigure scale. So, I mean, the actual minifigure scale, you can check out Brickfold, they have one. It's, of course not, but this looks like it could be, and it's a reasonable, like, if you want to make a mock or something with it. Anyway, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching this review. We have a great day. Bye.